They want to avoid a repeat of the massive looting we saw in parts of Philadelphia last year following Floyd's death. NBC 10's Aaron Baskerville shows us how businesses are getting ready. Businesses here along Aramingo Avenue in Port Richmond are not waiting any longer. They are boarding up right now. Many of the storefronts look like this with the word open spray painted all over the boards. They are concerned about what could possibly happen over the next few weeks. Why do we have to live like this? Where is all our politicians? All the CEOs sitting behind their offices on their doing nothing. And where are the peons that suffer? Outside the Ross clothing store, workers are boarding up the front entrance. It's one defense against potential looters. Almost every business in this shopping center on Aramingo looks the same with their windows covered for now. Across the street at a beer store, Debbie Myers, who's worked there for years, unleashed her frustration to NBC 10. They shouldn't even have to think about something like this. This is your neighborhood. Where are the people that keep to your neighborhood? You know, this, you should stick up for your neighborhood, not destroy your neighborhood. These safety measures are just in case there's unrest after the trial of Derek Chauvin. He's the former Minneapolis officer accused of killing George Floyd. In a letter to all Philadelphians, Mayor Kenny urged calm and talked about policy changes since last summer. They include adding mental health professionals to screen 911 calls, more crisis intervention training, and banning sitting or kneeling on someone's face, neck, or head. What we don't want is to go backwards again. And, and look, I think, God forbid, this, this, this decision goes wrong. And people are going to be angry, and rightfully so. I'm going to be angry. City leaders tell us more officers will be on the streets, and the National Guard will once again be in Philadelphia soon, securing key locations. Myers says businesses will be ready to fight back against any potential looters. The store owners stand behind their store. They come in. Well, it's up to you to do what you have to do. And that's it. I, I, it, they're crazy. Extreme safety measures that hopefully won't be needed. Aaron Baskerville, NBC 10 News.